Welcome back to Ansibles, everyone. So the market very choppy today, a very crazy day. We had a major spike out the gate and then we had a pullback. And the question is, after we did close into new highs, where exactly may we be headed next? How much momentum do we have here? And what exactly has to happen for us to continue on higher? And also in the next video, I'm going to go over CLVS, a major breakout that we had in the Ansibles room from our weekly watch list, closing up over 50% at the end of the day. I'm going to go over exactly what has to happen for CLVS to continue into next week as well. Now, before I jump into this, all I ask in return is you smash that like button. And if you do not want to miss any of our market updates or our potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week hit subscribe and if you guys are day traders or you guys are looking for intraday perspective breakouts all throughout the week go to instables.com in the description below and only for 15 dollars a month you guys will never miss a break alert the day again so let's jump into this one So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the spies you guys can see again we have been pulling back and a lot of people are curious if this is the bottom because we do have again bullish divergence as we have our price action dropping into lower lows as we do have higher lows on our relative strength which shows us that reverse in momentum and again we did get that bounce because we did get bullish divergence and as you guys can see we did get that strong rejection on the lower end of our 20 day average almost exactly what we want to see the opposite way for a breakout so that's why we have been careful however today we did close with a strong rejection to the down side showing us that we're trying to form a possible lower low to continue on higher what exactly has to happen for us to continue on higher and if we do continue on lower what exact level do i expect us to possibly bounce off of and a lot of people will call the bottom if we do continue on lower and we do hit this level that i'm going to go over with you guys here so as you guys can see on our macd again we have been mentioning that we do have an increase in buy pressure but now we do have that shift of momentum we have another white shaded line coming in showing us that we are decreasing in buy pressure so that could mean that we are coming back down for a possible increase in sell pressure and then we could be looking for possible white shaded lines from there to get our confirmation on a continuation on higher and then even continuing on higher from there if we do have a rally in the market however for now we do have our white shaded lines that are coming in so we're going to be careful and also one thing to consider is that we have our email lines that are now pointing up again as you guys can see yesterday we were curling and we were looking to see if we were going to start to point up if we were going to start to point down with that rejection on our candle here that did give us our email lines pointing up here showing us that we could continue on higher and possibly have room to run to the upside and again to get that continuation we want to see if we can at least break above the median of our MACD with our EMEA lines to get that confirmation on that continuation. Now, besides our bullish divergence, again, we have on the dollar bearish divergence. And again, we did mention yesterday that we have a symmetric triangle that we have been getting pressure to the upside with. And as you guys can see, now we are getting that wick to the upside, a possible rejection on the upper end of our ascending triangle. Again, we do want to see the dollar break to the downside. That way we get that pressure in the market to the upside. So we're going to be looking for that possible rejection on the upper end of our ascending wedge here to see if we can, again, get that break to the downside and get that confirmation on that continuation on lower as we do again have bearish divergence here on the dollar giving higher highs here on our price action as we are getting lower highs here on our rsi showing us that decrease in momentum and showing us again those bearish divergence that could be playing out so we will keep an eye on this confirmation but however very careful as we are continuing to respect our 20 moving average and the last thing we want to see is a break above here on the dollar and if that does happen that will give us a continuation on lower possibly in the market and if we do continue on lower in the market again we do have our level that we mentioned previously which gave us our confirmation out of our pre-pandemic levels that we had here at 360 and again we did have that continuation above we did respect around this 360 level but we'd be looking to see if we can drop down below 360 hit our pre-pandemic levels which is exactly where a lot of people will try to call the bottom at here at 340 in my opinion we will have somewhat of a bounce if we do not have a continuation on higher lows here above 360 then in my opinion we will come down and test around that 340 level to see if we can have a bounce back from our pre-pandemic levels which in my opinion like i said i really do expect a bounce to happen at least here at our pre-pandemic levels again that we did have before our pandemic so again we will keep an eye on the spot to see exactly if we do bounce back if we do hold 360 if we do bounce off of 340 and then continue on back over 360 and then break over our 380 level that we got rejected three times this week with and we did bounce above late today so we will continue to stay patient as we do have that rejection here below our 20 moving average and we have our 20 still pointing down below our 50 showing us that we still could continue on lower and again our email line still below the median of our MACD but again I do like how our email line is starting to point up this could be a signal for a possible continuation on higher and again making sure we do get that confirmation breaking above our previous buy pressure point that we just had to see if we do confirm with more momentum to the upside and then breaking above our previous buy pressure points if we can to continue on with that rally is exactly what we will be looking for here on the SPY. Now, 
again with that said if you are a day trader or you are looking for intraday perspective breakouts go to instabulls.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again and again all of you instabulls that come over every single day and support the channel i appreciate it one of you guys much love to every one of you guys that have been coming over every single day and supporting i appreciate you guys you guys mean a lot to me and we will continue to go at it every single day in the instables room and staying consistent will continue to be the number one focus that i always focus on in the instables room and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and i hope you guys do have a blessed three-day weekend and i'll see you guys in the next video